we bring to you the inspired word of God as you listen to the teachings and preachings of a servant of God, Hosanna David, preaching the end time gospel. Before your throne of mercy, O God, we come to hear from you. That was a mighty word. Chaos and darkness heard and took their flight. Where the gospel ray has not shone, we pray today, let there be light. Light upon our hearts, light in our family, light in our businesses, light in our spiritual lives. In the name of Jesus, Holy Spirit, speak now. In Jesus' name we pray. Give a clap offering to Jesus as you have your seat. Please have your seat. The theme is Arise and Arise and Arise and Turn to Nehemiah chapter 1 Verse 3 And they said unto me The remnant that are left of the captivity There in the province Are in great affliction and reproach the wall of Jerusalem is also broken down, and the gates thereof are burned with fire. And it came to pass, when I heard these words, that I sat down and wept and mourned certain days and fasted and prayed before the God of heaven. Let's go to chapter 2, beginning from the 12th verse. Okay, 11. So I came to Jerusalem and was there three days. And I arose in the night, I and some few men with me. Neither told I any man what my God had put in my heart to do at Jerusalem. Neither was there any beast with me, save the beast that I rode upon. And I went out by night by the gate of the valley even before the dragon were, and to the dung pot, and viewed the walls of Jerusalem, which was broken down, and the gates thereof were consumed with fire. Turn to verse 20 of chapter 2. Then answered I them, and said unto them, The God of heaven, he will prosper us. Therefore, we his servants will arise and build. But ye have no portion, nor right, nor memorial in Jerusalem. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Arise and build. Arise and build. Nehemiah was in the king's palace serving where he was taken to for captivity. And news came. He said, ah, Jerusalem is in trouble. The walls of the city had been broken down. As we talk now, people are living in shame. There is no security. Nehemiah did some things. And we will look at exactly what this man did, import them, and apply them to our lives. Before we move on, I want to tell us a very brief story. How many of us know the grasshopper? You know grasshopper? In those days, the primary school, we chase them around on the field. And you know cricket? They used to be very good friends and we are staying together. One day somebody came and destroyed the house. Immediately the house was destroyed. Flood, water came and covered the whole place. So after the water and the destruction, they were even unable to recognize the exact position they had their house before. So luckily, they were able to recognize it because of the environment. And they said, the grasshopper said, I can't go into this again. As a matter of fact, you know how much we tried to raise this house. Today, it is gone in a second. But the cricket said, I don't need to give up. If you destroy my house today, I am going to build it again the next minute. 
because I must not stay without a house. And I'm not going to live like the tortoise that says, the twala of life too much. So anywhere they go, I go carry my house for back. Carry and go anywhere they go. I'm not going to live like that. I have to live the exact way God created me. So the grasshopper decides to hope about fly from place to place. That is why the grasshopper has no home to today. But if you watch very carefully, you see the cricket, it always has a place to lay its head. The male one is so confident it will open his hole. If you get to the place, it's always open. But the female will always block it because of experience. He said, I must build my house, but with protection. So it lays a fence and blocks the hole. The entrance to the house. If you are in this house and the house you are staying is devastated, God can help you to build it again. <laughs> if not every one of us, many of us will believe this truth with me. That the walls of Nigeria are broken down. But we still believe. The Nehemiahs in this house believe that God is able to raise the walls again. If you believe, say amen. amen. Defeat doesn't finish a man. If you try something and you fail, you are not finished. But when you quit, when you quit, you are finished. A man is not finished when he is defeated. He is finished when he quits. Nehemiah saw the situation. He said, never. Jerusalem, the city of the Lord, must rise up again. If the enemy conquers us because of our disobedience, we will come back again and lay the stone again. And the name of God will be praised again. Defeat is a temporary situation. It is just for, it's a temporary condition. But when you give up in life, it becomes permanent. I'm talking to somebody in this house. If you face disappointment, that disappointment is just a temporary condition. But when you say, oh, it is over, then you write yourself off. It becomes a permanent condition. Look at what Jeremiah did. He heard from the right source. From people who were eyewitnesses. And when he heard this news, he sat down. He had to think. He humbled his mind. There are many of us here. We may be here, and I know maybe more than one, two, three. If you are seen outside, they will think you are the daughter of Buhari. Because your wig alone is 150,000 naira. Your necklace alone cannot make you, you buy it, you can't expose the pedal. Because it, is, it, it attracts area boys. Because of the value, the financial value. Your shoe alone is 40,000. But upon all this, you don't want anybody to know your parents. You don't want anybody to know where you stay. Because you are from a very humble background. Jeremiah, Nehemiah, had to think, he said, where I came from is facing devastation. My parents, my people, my family members, they are in shame. And I am in the palace. He, this guy thought about his background. He humbled himself. He sat down. He said, I know I am enjoying here. Remember the position of this man? He was a cup bearer of the king. If who they serve drink, which who they want serve drink, give. Who they drink first? So this man was taking the same delicacy of the king. He was feeding with, with the same food, from the same food the king, the emperor was feeding on. But this guy humbled himself. He said, no. If 
if you are from a poor background, I'm not saying your mind should be poor, but know where you are coming from. Your mother has no job. Your mother, your mother is begging, meeting men of God, meeting people, calling people, and just one outing. If you come out like this with a go show, only that outing alone, door open, rice shop for your mama. Know where you are coming from. I, I don't know in my village when they build house. They start from the foundation. They don't start from the roof. Know where you came from. If you must build your life, you have to start from the foundation. Even you have to understand if you know your family is so poor, your brothers, your sisters, they are poor and you have a big dream. Carry them along. Because if you did not carry them along, when you have money tomorrow, you will be in trouble. Your name will be in the houses of herbalists. Your children will be in trouble. Because a tree cannot make a forest. Nehemiah said, if I must be great in this land, where I came from can never be in chain. And by the time they ask you what is your address, he said, forget about it. Just tell me where I can meet you. I will meet you there. Why not you lay a good foundation first? If you have a good foundation, even when they see you small outside, and then somebody happens to meet you at home, he said, now here you they stay. Not that when you have all the cars, you have all the cars, you can afford to buy a first car. No problem. I don't have any problem with that. Second car. Even a big one. Meanwhile, in Ugot, all, in, um, all these nearby uh, villages, the land is not up to one million naira. And you park all these cars in front of somebody, and you say, landlord, they envy you. Why not go envy you? You're not going to be landlord. Landlord must envy you if you get good, bad man. He must envy you. Because now you'll be tenant. Build your own house, not be cast. Praise the Lord. This guy wept. He sat down and wept. And after weeping, he also continued by mourning for some days. I know that good decisions are not taken. The best decisions in a man's life, in a real man's life, are not taken in the beer parlor. Some of us took our best decisions when people said life is over. When there is sorrow, your mind will think well because when money finish, I go clear. Your money don't finish. Groove in no day again. That is when, when all friends are gone, you begin to think. Your brain will not function well. You will not see clearly. The wife went not fine before. You will go see and say, that time, he fine. Because money no day. You will not think well and take good decisions. So this man, in the time of his mourning, he took good decisions. He said, I have to live this life I am living now. For instance, Another emperor, king, when no no Joseph come and rise now, he say, oh, everybody go back to your village. Will I go back to that same village? I have to do something. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, do something. And he fasted. For there are some things that prayer alone cannot do. Jesus said, this one can never be without prayer and fasting. There are some things that you pray and you forget about them. There are other ones, you humble your soul. You humble yourself in fasting. Deny yourself for some pleasure. And this man, 
who used to be the cup bearer, before giving the king the cup, he would drink from it first. He said, this time around, I have to taste this food. I have to humble myself and fast. This is my condition. I cannot deny myself. See, the problem some of us have is that we are deceiving our own selves. Where are you no rich? No carry yourself, go dear. Now my mama be this, now he be, you no go fit get another one. If you then shame, make him who you want, say make it be your mama. You can't change your parents. You the shame for them, how much be see if now see go other people mama they wear. When you call, they call other people mama, mommy, your own. You know if you call her mama, unless now for house when nobody did. Buy and give them. If he appear, every woman is beautiful. If he appear, if he appear alone, now you go to introduce and say, you see that, that lady, that madam, well look like Dr. So, that businesswoman, now my mommy be that too. And this guy prayed, Nehemiah prayed. He prayed to God because he knew without prayer, a man would be so powerless so he prayed and this is the prayer he prayed number one he reminded god of his promises and faithfulness he reminded god of his mercy he said remember you are a merciful god he confessed their sins not his sin alone but he confessed the sin of the whole jerusalem and israel he asked god to forgive them and he also repented too. See, men are never defeated except when they give up on God. I have never seen any man who was defeated yet he hoped in God. The moment you give up on God, the devil will come. And that is a moment of your downfall. For those who put their trust in the Lord, will never be put to shame. If you continue to trust Him, your God will continue to stay by you. Even when the way becomes so tough, God, open your eyes very clearly. If you can't hear God speak to you, if you can't feel His presence, pay close attention, you will see that He is busy working for you. And when you walk by the way, you look back, you see the footmark of God, the footmark, he say, yes, uh, God is with me, God is with me. You have encouragement. And when you look back, you see only your own. Only one. Know that that one you see is the, foot, is the footprints of God Almighty. You ask yourself, where was I? You were carried under the shadow of the wings of this almighty God. Because if you walk by yourself by that time, you will fall. He also repented. He prayed. He said, God, we repent today. We that seek you now, you hear us. He also requested for God to raise her pass. He said, God, as I go to the king now, you go ahead of me and touch him. And because this man prayed, when he went before the king and said, he didn't even utter a word first. He said, king, the king said, why your face be like that? You know they look like this before. What's the problem? He said, king, why not go look like this? You know me before now. Now me, they share you up. Where I come from, eh, the door destroy him. Everything this man requested for, God gave him more than abundance. Our God can do more than what we imagine, more than what we ever think of. And those things that have never entered into the hearts of men, those things that no eye has ever seen, these are the things that God has proposed to do for his children. Say amen. amen. 
And this man went. When he got to the city, he discovered that the news he got, the news he received from Anani was the correct news. So that he will not be discouraged in the night. Somebody say night. Somebody say night. Let me tell you something about night. The fools, they sleep at night. Drinkers of wine, they drink in the evening and drink and across the night. But the wise, we wake up early. If possible, sleep in the afternoon when they are free. And in the night, they sleep a little and use the remaining hours of the night to continue to work. This man woke up in the night. He moved around. And he never moved with a crowd. He selected some like-minded individuals. You won't be great in life. You don't want to make your family scatter, but all your friends that they smoke, now let you know they smoke. Your friends, now the party, party, party one, and you, you know one party. You won't be, you won't be great, you won't you want to be great in life, but all your friends, you are better than all of them. None is better than you. Why some poor men go to big, big hotels and restaurants to drink sometimes? They just go there by Minira so that they will hear businessmen discussing. Discussing business. So people will just travel to some places. He said, let me go and see life. Let me just change what I have been saying. And when they come back, their mentality will be changed. You make some friends sometimes, not because of what they are going to do for you, but because you know that if you follow them over time, there will be transfer of wisdom into your life. You can never... Be better than your friends. You can only be as good as your friends. Because if you want me to tell, who, to tell you who you are, show me any of your friends that I know. And I will tell you your whole life. So this man, he did not go to people who will discourage him. He went to people he had studied their lifestyles. People who will never discourage. One of the biggest mistakes in the Bible. One of the biggest mistakes in the Bible. When the children of Israel journeyed into the wilderness. The people that were sent. Ten good of them. Ten of them. We are men. Who had not the mind of God. And so when they went there, they came with different stories. They came with the truth, but they also added their fears. Said the land is very good, but the people living in the land, they are giants. We can't conquer them. If these are the types of friends you have, you have the right to change your friend. Tell somebody, sister. Tell somebody, brother, you have the sole right to change your friends. It's not everybody that says, make me your friend, that you make your friend. I have a philosophy. You don't make me your friend, but I make friends myself. So, if a madman comes and said, I want to be your friend, you, free entry, free exit. Say, no problem, no problem, let's go. He picked people who could encourage him in what he wanted to do. And he went in the night, investigated this situation. As you hear me today, I want all of us to look inward. Let us investigate our situations. Even when God came some time ago, he came to this world. He had to do investigation in Genesis chapter 1 verse 1. 
God came and he allowed his spirit to hover over the dark waters. There was darkness and God commanded the spirit. He said, move, go and investigate the amount of damage that had been done to this earth. And the spirit of God moved. God said, no, let there be light. Let light come so that the situation can be so clear. That is why sometimes you look for some old people in your family and you ask them about the secret, the history of your family. And when you know the background of your family, you should be able to deal with the familiar spirits in your family. It's not just pray, pray, pray. You pray with understanding. You pray with knowledge. Investigate your situation. And when you do this kind of investigation, you must not deceive yourself. Many people, after they believe a lie for a long time, they refuse to change and adapt to the truth. If you want to tell some people the truth, he said, this is what the truth is. They said, don't worry, I know. But this is the way we have been doing it. Nigeria today, we are in big trouble. The walls of Nigeria are broken down. You are the Jeremiah of Nigeria. You are the Nehemiah of Nigeria. I am the Nehemiah. You can change this country. Tell somebody you can. You, 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 the way you said it is like you don't have faith. Tell another person you can change this country. Do you believe with me? If you believe this with me, 2019, there is going to be another election. In Nigeria, we, some of us who are sitting down here now, we are thrown evil. You may be surprised. If God opens his record, his CCTV camera, they may see some of us collecting 2,000 naira during the election. Some of us collected even as low as 500 naira. Before you can cast your votes, who thief money? As I be so, I feel work money finish. Eh? I feel work money finish. Make I begin to spread the money. Money, my sweat, my sweat. Make her the spreader. Some people's conscience, they are so cheap that a thousand five can buy the conscience. And you are thrown a, See, after election, no more campaign. After you finish your election, take your one thousand five and go and rest for the next four years. Don't complain. And we well will not take so. Now we will not punish. If you dare your own, we well will because you don't collect your own for the next four years. If you even enter gallop, if you enter gallop, that one five, you go see, make your mind cool down small. Because you don't receive salary without working. And if you are here, Your walls are broken down. The Lord can still restore you. If you are facing disappointment in your marriage, in your work, you came from a poor family background. Even now you are an adult, you have no education. And you have no skill. You have no skill. You know how to dot the eyes. You know how to dress yourself. You have all those things to you know, to show that you are somebody, but inside there is a big hole. They say, come and write your name. Then, peace go come cash you. You go excuse yourself. You can still make it, even now. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 16, it says, For a just man fallen seven times, and rise that up again. You will rise again in the name of Jesus. Yeah. 
Jeremiah wept. Nehemiah, this man wept for a few days. Thank God for a few days. He never wept forever. Because Psalm 30 verse 5 B says, Weeping may endure for a night. Weeping, weeping. I mean weeping may endure, but just for a night. But joy cometh in the morning. Somebody was troubled. The writer of this work in Mark chapter 7 verse 8. He told his enemies, he said, rejoice not over me, oh my enemies. Though I have fallen, I will rise again. Though I sit in darkness, the Lord will give me light. It is time to shake, to shake every weakness off. Be on your feet as we speak to our spirit. Psalm 42 verse 11 says, we are going to pray with this, this scripture now. As I read it, you put it at the back of your mind. You can speak to your soul. You can speak to your spirit and they will hear you. He said, why art thou cast down, O my soul? Why art thou disquieted within me? Hope in God, for I shall yet praise him, who is the head of my countenance and my God. Lift up your right hand. We have seen everything Nehemiah did. I humbled himself. He never deceived the king that all was well. But with humility, he kindly submitted to the will of God. He accepted his background. He accepted it, but he never quit. He said, this is my background, but I'm going to fight through. I know if I fight, if I take God along, I'm going to win this battle. Though Tobiah and Sambalat, though they rise up against me, I must win this battle. Can you say, oh Lord, my oh Lord, my Father, in your name, in your name I, speak to my soul. I speak to my soul. Can you say, oh, my soul, oh my soul. Why are thou cast down? Why are you so quiet in me? Can you say, oh, my soul, oh my soul. hope thou in God? Oh, God, God. For I know I will praise him again. I know I will praise him again. My God, my Savior. My God, God my, my Savior. Savior. Now, Father, may your power be released in this house. As many their background had humbled, humiliated, they are so quiet when their mates are talking, they cannot talk there. Because we know. That you are the one that determines where men should be born. The parents that should give birth to us. We command every humble background to be silent. Amen. Any household enemy that says you cannot arise and build. Any power that is telling you your own is finished. Rush. Any power that is telling you that you will not have a job. You will not have a home. That you will continue to prostitute. That you will continue to steal. Let the power of a living God cross that power in the name of Jesus. Amen. Weeping may tarry for a night, but joy comes in the morning. This is the hour of your joy. Amen. As you rise up to say no, 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 in the name of Jesus, I say no to you. As you rise up to say no, may God arise for your sake. Amen. May the enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lastly, Lord, release the spirit of humility upon your children. Amen. The spirit will enable us to identify with our background so that we will not live the life of others. The spirit to build our foundation first. 
release it upon us. Amen. This is our prayer. In the name of God the Father. Amen. In the name of God the Son. Amen. And in the name of God the Holy Ghost. Amen. We hope you were blessed by this message. For more information, visit our website www.egoeyeopener.com Email us at rosannadavid at ymail.com or info at egoeyeopener.com God bless you.